Okay, so we've just finished with Caroline's uh, massage and we've just released the hips and stretched out um, the hips and inner thighs. Yeah, so let's see how your squats go now, Caroline. Okay. Pelvic floor first. Take a deep breath in. Diaphragmatic breath and then breathe out. As you breathe out, lift your pelvic floor muscles up. Well, that was a bit fast, but that's okay. <laughs> Slowly. Pelvic floor. How does that feel now? Really a lot easier. A lot easier? A lot easier. Yeah. No catching. No, no catching. Try a lot deeper. So go pelvic floor first. Just it's really important that you have that pelvic floor there. Yeah. And then carry it through. That's better. Look how free yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. And it's fluid movement. You can sit down easy, you get up easy. Do you feel now that you're recruiting or you're getting your glute muscles? I feel like I'm using the correct muscles. muscles great instead of over using the wrong ones uh-huh okay so how about we try the lunges now and see compared to when you first did them mm -hmm. without me touching you and just see how that is now so okay. if you face uh, maybe the windows there take your right leg forward left leg back and then we um this was the side that was a problem to you How does that feel now? I don't have any pain. No pain at all? No pain. So I wouldn't recommend lunges in the third trimester no. because of these issues that you're experiencing. Yes. But just to test it, I just wanted to yeah. see what we did on the table there worked. So releasing some of the bum muscles mm -hmm. and the hips and everything else. Yeah, I would generally better. have a bit of sacrum pain and a bit of sciatic pain doing something like that yeah. before. So no pain. So picking up your washing and um, doing the shopping and all that yep. sort of stuff, that should become easier, just yep. the bending of the knees. Mm -hmm. Take your left leg back and do the lunge. Oh, we just did that. Do the other way. Take your right leg back. Hang Whoops. On, hang on, <laughs> my balance. Yeah, right leg back. My feet are a bit sweaty. Oh, sorry, you are right? Yep. How's that now? Do you want to move on the mat? I just need to wipe a bit, I think. So I can, um, I think you just did do them on the mat, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So with lunges, I would not recommend somebody do lunges in their third trimester, only for the pure reason that the piriformis muscle and the hip flexors are so tight, they end up tightening more muscles than what it's worth. And so the pelvis being stiff, or the muscles being stiff around the pelvis, it just, it's distorted kind of lunge. So Caroline, we tested before what the lunge felt like. So let's have you doing them again now. Mm -hmm. So take your left leg back first because this is the side that you tested first. So stabilize there. And yeah, you can recruit a little bit of your pelvic floor just to really feel stable yeah. there. And then lunging, bend your back knee first and then go into your lunge position. See how far you're going down now? You're actually going a lot lower yes. without any pulling in no your No pulling. Hips. Nothing? Nothing. Fabulous, do a couple more and just see how that feels. And your posture's really nice, so you've got your um, line like your shoulder over your hips and you're not sort of waddling over one side to the other your hips are not feeling like you're leaning over to one side great try the other side so take your right leg back up on your toes stabilize and stay tall all right bend your back knee on the right leg and going down how's that knee? better yeah any pain no pain nothing Either side, there's no pain. No pain at either side. Okay, hop up. All right, so based on what we did today, what are you feeling? I feel lighter. I feel lighter on my feet, lighter in my legs, not as heavy. Um, I feel uh, looser, more movement, more mobile. Yeah. Um, no pain. No pain? No pain. We don't want pain, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> are you, do you think you're ready for the birth now? Um, I'm getting more prepared, yes. We do, I, we probably, I probably need a bit more of this, but um, definitely much more prepared. Oh, she's gorgeous. We have just finished with Caroline's massage and just releasing all the hip flexors, the glutes, and now Caroline is a lot more mobile, but 
don't let me tell you that. How do you feel, Caroline? I feel a lot better. I feel um, a lot less tight, looser in my legs, uh, much more mobile, um, no aching and pains. Feel more balanced as well and straighter. And your posture's taller now. Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like it? Yeah, I do. If you're standing up a lot taller. Yes. And so doing the squats, mm -hmm. doing the lunges. Comfortable. What difference are you feeling uh, compared to before? I felt and... that I was using the correct muscles. Which are? Um, my glutes um, and not overworking other muscles. Yes. That I shouldn't be switching on so much or yes. at all. Yes. Um, and yeah, able to control it better and go deeper and have better stability. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So basically that's what pregnancy is all about, just really enjoying your pregnancy, not feeling like you're struggling through and getting out of bed is a chore at times. And so rather than feeling, you know, a little bit like, oh my gosh, it's going to be, you know, heavy day, you feel lighter, which is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. And you can move, function, mm -hmm. you can do things with your kids now, you can probably go for a nice walk. Yes. So, but most importantly, right now, she's got two weeks to go. So I think you're getting ready for your birth. Yes. Do you think? Definitely. So this has been Caroline and Mary, just like showing you what you can do for your pregnant clients or what you could do for your wife, maybe, <laughs> or your sister. <laughs> and um, yes, I think this little baby is ready to come out. She's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs>